Open this. You want? Today I'm gonna be oil painting and wow, this is my first time water? oil painting hence me being very aggressive with the paint tubes. Um, I don't really know what I'm doing so for the most part bear with me. This isn't like a tutorial or anything it's just me trying out oil painting and I've always wanted to try out oil painting especially because Jimena Reno is one of the artists that I really look up to and she's so good at oil painting and I really wanted to try it. But I realized that it's really not as similar as acrylic or gouache or watercolor. It's like this own different entity of its own. So I went into it like thinking very confidently like I got this. I got it's just oil. Um, you can't wash oil with water so that's one thing and so you always have to have these like little solvents and um, mediums to mix with oil. So here I'm painting some sunflowers. It's been a while since I've painted sunflowers. And normally I feel like I could do this with acrylic. Like just the same thing with acrylic and it would be so much more faster and buildable. But oil is a medium that spreads so much so you really have to be patient. I had to get a coffee. Who am I without my iced coffees? Um, yeah, I had to multitask in a sense because I still go to online class. So just while waiting for my painting to dry, I'm in class. Um, I also got to finish another requirement because that's the life of a student. So yeah, back to painting oil. It's something I really want to learn over these next few months but I don't think I'm that ready to dive into it more complex silly <laughs> I think I'm gonna be using this so I'm gonna draw like some outfits over here I'm gonna follow this peg <laughs> but like not those outfits I'm gonna choose my own sketchbook that's basically what the title of this video is and so I just decided to go for some random things not really think about what I'm painting because I only have like a few pages left and if I take everything so seriously I don't know I feel like it would add too much pressure to what I'm doing oh my god I wasn't recording what the freak so I don't know why I did that <laughs> but here's the fun part we just get to color it it's basically just coloring book. These were just done in like one minute. <laughs> so let's go. These are usually highlighters, but I haven't used them yet. So I'm really just gonna go ham. Oh my god, why is it bleeding?
Oh freak, stop bleeding! Stop. I think I'm gonna go with paints instead for this one because it just bleeds through. Yeah, I guess what I'm trying to say is like, you don't have to take everything so seriously when it comes to art and this is literally a manifestation of that because there's somewhat like a beauty in something that's messy and kind of like childlike when you paint. Um, I don't know if that's just me but the messy style is kind of like cool. I don't know. It's like a, I don't know. It feels so avant-garde or whatever. I kind of really like it even though it's really messy. <laughs> a page I covered over because I didn't like it so we're just gonna draw over it. I have a lot of pages like this where I just cover it up with a solid color because I end up not liking the first thing I paint over it. And back to gouache, um, I don't know why I put white marker over it. I guess I was trying to be like different so like the white could like stick out. I kind of missed making flowers because it's been a while since I painted them. Yeah, just generally, I don't really get think about what I'm doing when I paint flowers and try to just free flows. I do whatever I want because it's not that complicated. Every flower is different. had to make the sunflowers dry because it's very you know heavy so i decided i couldn't fill up the sketchbook with oils anymore i was thinking maybe for canvases in the future for the next part of the video i'm not gonna be talking about the painting i think i'm just gonna be rambling about some things that have been on my mind um art wise my plans for this channel for the next month really include just trying new things but I always want to have this like little art tribe series on my channel because it motivates me to do art every month so I don't know if you guys are artists and you're struggling to find reasons why you want to make new things I suggest try something like this make an art tribe document it and you'll see your process from all these months because when I started the art tribe I barely touched my sketchbook it's so funny because the only time that I touched my sketchbook last year, March, was to rip out a page and stick it to another sketchbook. If you guys check out my sketchbook tour up here, it's basically all just sketches. Like, just sketches. And then from that, I realized I like color more. I really do like color more and sketches kind of bore me. Um, I started the art tribe in January and that has been seven months ago. And in those seven months, in my whole life, I'm gonna be honest, in my whole life, I've never filled up a sketchbook. I This is the first sketchbook that I have almost even completely successfully filled up with works that I'm so proud of, with drawings that I want to frame, and I would never have done that if I didn't push myself to start this art drive. So I, I guess what I'm saying is like, if you're struggling to find a reason to make art, if you're struggling to find a reason to pick up that pencil again or pick up that paintbrush again because you don't have enough time I would say a lot a deadline for yourself at the end of every month have one thing that you have made make just one thing a month one new thing a month because you can't just keep painting the same person again and again and you will see how much you've improved even though you feel like you didn't learn anything I honestly felt like I didn't learn anything, but when I look back, I hated painting portraits. I absolutely hated it, and now I look forward to it. I'm just excited to carry all these skills in the future for my future videos. And speaking of skills, this video is sponsored by Skillshare. Thank you so much, Skillshare, for sponsoring this video. It's the seventh art chive. I'm completely blown away. Skillshare is an online learning platform where you can learn tons of different things tons of different classes that specialize in different skills. 
I personally love to use it for art, but I've also been diving into using it for French, learning different languages. As I mentioned, my favorite class there of all time is Gabriel Piccolo's character illustration class, where he teaches you guys how to draw some characters, how to design different features of different characters, male or female. Another class that I love to take and that I used for this video is Chris Hong's anatomy and portrait making class, where it teaches you the different dimensions of the human face. If you want to join me in this creative exploration, you guys can check out the link in my description box and the first 1,000 people who click the link in my description box will get a free month's trial of Skillshare Premium. So yeah, thank you guys so much for sticking around to the end of this video. Um, I'm so excited for the future months, for my future art drives. I have a lot planned up, especially now that I'm almost done with the sketchbook. I'm planning to do a sketchbook tour next, I believe, so stay tuned for that, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!